What's up, y'all? This is Coach Nick. Welcome back to G1 Life Skills Academy, where we teach and prepare kids to be champions not only in the boxing ring, but more importantly in life. And so today's topic, we just wanted, since it's Sunday, just real quick, we wanted to test my son's uh, comprehension and what he learned from our spiritual lessons that we had this week. So today we're going to have a special guest, my son, Lotolahi. We call him LL for short. Most people can't pronounce it, so we just call him LL. So uh, we're going to have him here on the show just testing to see what he remembers and what he learns from the time that we put in and the lessons. Remember, the key to parenting is repetition and time. So repeatedly do something over and over. Over time, kids program the muscle memory, whatever it is that you're trying to learn with them. So time, most important thing for your kid. They value that more than toys or gifts or whatever. Spending time with them builds that bond, their trust, their respect. So welcome LL to the show. Uh, LL, you ready for the test to see what we learned this past week from our spiritual lessons? Mm -hmm. All right, can you tell everybody, say hi to everybody? Hi. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Let's see what uh, LL learned from this past week. Mm. Uh, so question number one, where does Heavenly Father live? In heaven. In heaven, all right. And number two, where did we come from before earth? Before we came to earth, we were in heaven. Heaven, all right. And number three, what kind of bodies did we have in heaven? Spirit bodies. Spirit bodies, all right. Um, are we spirit children of God? Yes. Okay, good answer. What are two reasons why we needed to come to earth? Um, two reasons are so we're going to have flesh bodies and so, so we could so we could shoot um, so we could be tested and have flesh bodies all right all right thank you thank you you do pay attention when i talk to you all right um so question number six who was going to die for us on the cross who was going to die for us mm -hmm. jesus christ all right good answer okay and why did he have to die for us on the cross because so we can repent. Repent. All and, right. And choose if we want to be bad or good. But we want to be good. Okay. All right. I love that answer. Love that answer. All right. So who was God's other son? God's other son was Satan or Lucifer. Okay. All right. So the next question is, what was Lucifer's plan? Lucifer's plan was, the, was um to everybody to be safe and be nice and go to church and then come right back to heaven. All right, all right. And so was Lucifer's plan to give people a choice or he was going to force everybody to listen? Force. All right, he was going to force everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And our Heavenly Father didn't like that because he wanted us to have the, ch the choice to do what we want to do. But he hoped that we made the good decisions, but... He knew that we needed to, you know, choose for ourselves and have free agency, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So why did Heavenly Father choose Jesus Christ to come down instead of Lucifer? Um, because we we're gonna we because because at, after that he said we he, we we was gonna choose. All right. So he wanted to give us our free agency, right? Free agency issues. All right. So let's talk that talk about that a little bit, because that's an important part. So. Jesus Christ's plan was to um, allow everybody to come to earth and have their free agency, which means they're going to ch choose for themselves what they want to do, whether they um, choose the right or cho choose the wrong. So uh, knowing that Jesus Christ was going to have to die for us, because otherwise there would be no way that we could make it back. So the fact that he died for us on the cross allows us the opportunity to repent and have a second and third chance, fourth for some people, but we can have an opportunity to make things right again. Um, okay, and so number 12, how many of the spirits followed Lucifer when he got kicked out of heaven? 
One third. One third. Wow, that's a lot of spirits that listen to him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, last question and then I'll let you go. Uh, could Lucifer and the spirits that followed him have flesh and blood bodies like us one day? No. All right, so thank you, Lotolahi. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. And actually, before you leave, is there a positive message that you want to share with the kids out there? Yeah. Well, what is it? Work hard and never give up. And I got another one. Okay, okay. Go ahead, I go ahead. I want you to never give up on your game and stay positive. All right. Thank you, Papi. Uma. And All right. So I just want to encourage everybody to put in the time to teach your kids life skills. Help them. If you put in the time, put in the effort, it's going to pay off. God lives in heaven. He is our heavenly father. We lived in heaven with him. We lived with him a long time. He taught us many things. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In heaven we did not have flesh and blood bodies. We had spirit bodies. Our spirit bodies looked like the flesh and blood bodies we have now. We were the spirit children of God. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 9. Furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits, and live? One day Heavenly Father talked to all his children. He said he would make an earth for us. He said we could go to earth. He said we must go to get flesh and blood bodies. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of the death, that is the devil. God said we would be tested on earth. We should obey his commandments. But God would not make us obey him. We would come back to heaven and live with God if we obeyed him. God chose some spirits to help him on earth. They were righteous. He knew they would obey his commandments. They would be prophets and leaders. God said one of his sons would save the people on the earth. He would go to earth and die for all of us. God's son, Jesus Christ, said he would go to earth and die for us. He would obey God. Then another son spoke. His name was Lucifer. He said he would go to earth. But he wanted God's power. God chose Jesus Christ. Lucifer was angry. Lucifer talked to God's children. He wanted us to obey him. He said he would make us be good. We could not choose. He would bring us all back to heaven. One third of the spirits followed Lucifer. Lucifer and these spirits did not obey God. God was very sad. He sent Lucifer and the spirits who followed Lucifer out of heaven. They could not have flesh and blood bodies. They could not go back to heaven. Lucifer would lead them. His name would be Satan or the devil. Hope you learned something, take time to review and have your kids answer the questions at the end of the video. This will test them to see if they learn the key points of the plan of salvation. Great job in investing time in your children. Keep it up, because they will be blessed for it. Programming their minds now will prepare them to be able to handle life's challenges. Repetition and time are parents most powerful tools in preparing our kids for the future. 
Just like kids learn the latest dance moves and dysfunctional rap lyrics from listening and watching hours of TikTok videos and other social media platforms, listening and watching positive videos will program them for success. The sooner you start the better it is for them. Don't wait until you see signs of negative behavior because it might be too late. Stay tuned, we will have more positive videos for kids to program their mind to be positive. Until next time, much love and aloha. Aloha, aloha, kuha, aloha, ikanu, oka, lemah.